Welcome back to the show, everybody. Uh, you're probably so high now because it's Friday night, you think, whoa, dude, is that a miniature Drew Carey puppet host in the late night TV show? <laughs> and I'm like, dude, seriously, you need to cut down because it's me, miniature Drew Carey. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, well, anyway, please welcome my first guest to the show tonight, Craig Ferguson, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Craig, looking good. Aye, uh, thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> man, you make me sound like a uh -oh. pirate, man. <laughs> Who right. are you talking to? <laughs> oh, never you mind that. It's just one of them show business things. So, Craig, what have you been up to? Have you been doing anything uh, recently? Did you buy a house or uh, go on vacation? Oh, yeah. I, got, I did both at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds nothing like me, man. <laughs> All right, I'll change it. <laughs> All right, yeah, I do it again. Yeah. Yes, I bought a house. <laughs> On, on vacation, yeah. Oh, me too. I want to talk like this as well. It seems like a lot of fun. It's quite enjoyable, isn't it? Yes, it's like if Mrs. Doubtfire had taken some helium. Oh, did you drop something there? Yes, one of my testicles fell off. <laughs> Drew, I'm very disappointed in you. <laughs> there, that's better. So, uh, <laughs> we're out of time. Do you want a chocolate dollar? Sure, I'd love one. Help yourself, then. All right. Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Progressive, making it easy to bundle your home and car insurance. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. It's uh, Friday, of course, Friday, but... Uh, <laughs> Friday, oh, can't you tell my nipples are perky? I'm feeling... <laughs> perky Nipple Friday, that's what they used to call me. Is that right? Yes, when I worked as a, a temp during the 1950s in the typing pool, they would go, oh, here she comes, Perky Nipple Friday. I'd be like... Please, I'm just trying to do my typing. I don't know what it is either, man. I'm just trying to get through the week, all right? <laughs> anyway, it's not any old Friday, though. This is actually to do, this is a, it's a, real, a real day. This is National Coming Out Day. So if you're thinking about coming out, come on, come on. It's all right, it's all good, no hate. In honor of this big day, I have an announcement to make. <laughs> Secretariat is gay. <laughs> well, uh, actually, that's not, hold on, hold on. Just the back half. <laughs> so what's happening up front then? 
By curious? <laughs> All right. Anyway, big movie opening today. I'm very excited about it. Machete Kills. Mel Gibson is a bloodthirsty villain who goes nuts and terrorizes people. I have no idea who he plays in the movie, but Mel Gibson. Yeah. yeah. See what I did? Yeah. Yeah. Alec Baldwin's getting his own talk show on MSNBC. I'm like, what? <laughs> Alex, that's right. Like, what? It's National Coming Out Day. I'm trying to be yeah, supportive. Yeah, man. Anyway, Alex says he will not be going for laughs on his new show. I'm like, careful, Baldwin. That's my thing. <laughs> I challenge you to words with friends. <laughs> Here's my word. <laughs> Here's a question. Are you going to pixelate my fingers there for what I said? Because I type. <laughs> oh, you're going to leave it? Oh, so I can type swear words? All right, then. <laughs> anyway, it's a big weekend if you like zombies. Sunday night is the return of The Walking Dead show, which is a great show, even although it's not on CBS. <laughs> Actually, CBS does have its own uh, zombie show. Uh, it's on Sunday nights, called 60 Minutes. But if you never see... <laughs> it's a joke. Yeah. It's a joke. Fuck it off. It's a joke. Actually, actually, that was tonight's joke that was stolen from Jay Leno! <laughs> Hey, you're wearing the same tie you were wearing last night. You know what, man? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about you? Are you doing it too? <laughs> Is that your fingers you're using? I don't think it's your fingers. <laughs> Horses don't have fingers, therefore he can't be using his fingers. <laughs> hey, we were talking. Oh yeah, The Walking Dead. If you've never seen The Walking Dead, basically it's a bunch of bloodthirsty zombies slowly devouring what's left of America. Oh no, wait, that's C-SPAN. No, they are. <laughs> I'm actually have a, I'm having a viewing party on Sunday to watch Walking Dead. I've invited all my friends, like Secretariat and... Uh... <laughs> yeah, that's about it, really. The hell, man? <laughs> you. <laughs> this is Walking Dead's fourth season, which sounds impressive until I remind you that this show has been on for nine seasons. Yeah, me too. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Walking Dead is on AMC. AMC also has that great show, Mad Men. You know, but more people would watch the show Mad Men if it had zombies in it. Zombies working in an office like Perky Nipples Friday. <laughs> zombies working in an office and drinking and smoking and patting their secretaries on the ass. Ah! I'd be, uh, that, it would be what the governor's office looked like when Schwarzenegger was there. I'd be like, ah! Uh, do it, do it, like. <laughs> 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 I read a review that called Walking Dead the best zombie movie on TV, and then I'm thinking, well, what, what other zombie, what other zombie shows are on TV? What the, the, that's it, isn't it? That's it. Yeah, right. Oh, now there's, I suppose, here comes Zombie Boo Boo. <laughs> yeah. Ding dong. Ding dong. That's that's here comes Zombie Boo Boo. That's what that is. Well, you give me a show with a zombie in it, that'd be better with a zombie yeah, in it. Keeping up with the Kardashians. Yeah. <laughs> they got, they got yeah. one in that. Yeah, man. Yeah, they got a whole yeah. bunch of them. <laughs> zombie Don't Nabby. Zombie Don't Nabby would be good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I say, do tell Carson we're having Lady Mary's brains for tea. <laughs> They're zombies, man. They eat brains. What? Yeah. They ooed me again. No, they, they, they... I wish last night's audience were here, I tell you, because they... Yeah, it was much better. Much better. Ooh, that 11th day of that shutdown, man, it's really freaking me out. <laughs> well, that's it. Is that you're done? Yeah, yeah, you know, I like to end the monologue with a kind of like, what the... 
Like when people kind of go, what the, what the, what the hell is that? Like that, yeah. Do you believe that guy's on TV? And I'm like, yeah, God bless America. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from our favorite office gal, Perky Nipple Friday. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Still German. Still German. Three dings. Dracula. Dracula. Four dings. That's Italian Bill Clinton. <laughs> Five dings. Room service. Hello? Yes, yeah, sir. It's uh, Jerry from uh, Room Service. Jerry, did you see the start of the show? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. That guy, was, I mean, you believe him doing my voice like it's, that? Uh, it's a travesty, sir. I have to say, though, as well, you know uh, Josh Robert Thompson, the guy who does the voice, right? Yeah, sure, sure. Doesn't he look much fatter on TV? Yeah, he's huge. <laughs> he's, uh... Oh, hold, hold on a second. You find someone else to ooh. Ooh la la! <laughs> <laughs> so... Don't you think so? I I think <laughs> I think he, yeah he looks he looks a little fatter on TV and weirdly uh, creepy kind of creepy, creepy right yeah he's really ballooned up he's really let himself go sir <laughs> and what is that thing he smells of uh, that's uh, lavender sir why would he smell of lavender Jerry because I applied it to him sir <laughs> Jerry do you want to tell me something given it's National Coming Out Day. <laughs> I am uh, a gay man, and I'm very proud of it, sir. Okay, good for you, Jerry. Good for you, man. That takes a lot of bravery to do that. It's all good. Enjoy when a man smells of lavender. Nothing wrong with that. Gets me a bit excited. Okay, okay, stop now. <laughs> Trousers are getting a bit snug, Whoa, 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 whoa. Jerry, Jerry, uh, uh, I'm glad you called. I want to order some room service. What would you like, sir? Um, uh, cucumbers. And, um, sausages. <laughs> and, uh... Have you got anything else, penisy? <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll send the uh, three bodybuilders right up, sir. <laughs> All right, Jerry. Well, you know, it's always nice. I like your socks, sir. <laughs> yeah, I liked them so much I wore them last night, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, you know, one, one time it would be really nice to get you on camera, Jerry. Yeah. You know, get you to come out, say hi to the folks. Well, I'd like to. I've, you I've... shouldn't be embarrassed about how you look, man. I know you, I mean, people, look, you know, you're beautiful no matter what they say. Yeah, some, some people think I look fatter on camera. <laughs> oh, I, I, I would be one of those. <laughs> I hate you, sir. <laughs> See you later, Jerry. All right. Still here. Still here, sir. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, what time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? We've done that. We it's the, the yeah. email time, yeah? Yeah, now we're in. All right. Well, let's do the email thing. All right. Yeah. All right. Email time. Email time. I'm worried about that horse, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> This is from Frank in New York City. I don't know if you can tell, but Frank is a fat pigeon. Oh, boy. You was a fat pigeon, Frank. <laughs> uh, dear Craig, I think I'm going to start carrying around candy and throwing it into the air at random like you do at the start of the show. Yeah, good luck with that in New York, uh, uh, Frank. No one would notice, I think, in New York. Uh, no, pigeons uh, would have a very difficult time throwing candy in the air. They don't have fingers. They've got little talons. Yeah, but they use them for <laughs> clutching wood. Right. Oh, hey, everybody, oh, we're whoa. back. Uh, uh, well, it was like something was edited there. 
Which seems impossible given that we're live. Here's my socks to prove it. <laughs> this is from Diane in Long Island, New York. It says, hello, Craig and Jeff. Who's your all-time favorite guest? And is she on the show tonight? Yes. <laughs> Rashida's on the show tonight. Rashida Jones. Oh, Rashida yeah. Jones, yeah. You know, Rashida is, uh, that's the one. Oh, she's, she's quite a lady. She's quite a lady. Oh, we yeah. sing about her sometimes, don't yeah, we? Yeah, we do, we do. We sing. She's a lady. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lady. Yeah. Come on, let's have Jerry join you and me singing all at right. the same all time. Right. All right, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah all right. Yeah, let's, all right. let's have Jerry and you yeah. and me Fine. singing yeah. at the same right. time. Oh, Jerry, yeah, you there, brother? Yeah, I'd love this. All right, let's sing. All right. Oh, oh, God, what the hell, sir? <laughs> She's <laughs> She's a lady. All right, all right, very good. Anyway, this is from Ray in America. Uh, don't even tell, but Ray's uh, an owl. Uh, who? Uh, he says, Dear Craig, tax question. Can I reduce the federal tax I pay proportional to the days the government is shut down? You can try. <laughs> This is from Kim in Roanoke, Virginia. He says, yeah, Dear Craig and Jeff, do you ever wish you could see into the future? <laughs> I can see into the future. I'm going to throw this on the floor. <laughs> I don't think I'd want to see into the future, would you? No, no. Terrifying. Are you saying that because you can see into the future? I can, Craig. And? <laughs> From, uh, this is from Lisa in Edinburgh. Oh, Edinburgh! Mm. Oh, aye! Oh, Scottish! Oh, aye! Do your voice, Jeff! Do your oh, voice! Oh. oh, aye! Oh, aye. you sound like Mrs. Doubtfire on helium! Bollocks! <laughs> Jeff! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go play a game of Roll the Stone and have some oh, as I oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, groundskeeper Willie! Aye! Okay! <laughs> don't do it, man! Don't! This is from Lisa in Edinburgh. I don't know if you can tell, Lisa's uh, she's some kind of groggy. Yeah, yeah. What's she, what she pecking there? It's uh, wood. Wood. <laughs> she says, uh, Craig, are you still mad at me all these years later? <laughs> you guys just groggy. Up in your minds, don't you? No. Hell, man. Yeah, you remember Lisa from Edinburgh. I've talked to you about her. Oh, yeah, you yeah, did. Yeah, we yeah. sing that song about her, don't we? Me, yeah. you and Jerry. Yeah, yeah right, yeah. yeah. We sing, I remember she's a lady. Still here. All right. <laughs> Finally, this is uh, from James in Armonk, New York, who says, uh, Hello, Craig and Jeff. My sister is a royal pain in the you know what. Oh, I don't know what. What do you think it is? What could she be referring to? A pain to? in the uh, forehead, perhaps? Um, in the foot, maybe? In the uh, toilet? In the back? Lower. In the back. In the, in the back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my sister is a royal pain, then you know what. Since she doesn't tweet, she wants me to ask you to say hello. Can you say hi to Melissa? No, she's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Man, you said it yourself. I'm not saying hi to her. I'm not saying hi to Melissa, not again, not since what happened with her and Lisa in Edinburgh. <laughs> I wish she would phone me. <laughs> I wonder if it's Lisa from Edinburgh. <laughs> hello? Yes, hello? <laughs> It's Lisa from Edinburgh. You had me at hello. How are you? Lisa, I'm, I'm fine. I've been trying to call you. I couldn't find your, your number. I lost that. Lisa, have you turned into an old lady? <laughs> I'm 85 years old, Craig. <laughs> Quite the stallion you were.
It's just an expression, man. It's just an expression. Yeah, like, don't get... Don't, man. It's just... Uh, come on! <laughs> Think what you've invested in yourself emotionally in here. <laughs> Lisa, I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. Okay. I'm still here. <laughs> Tonight stars in Parks and Recreation, which is Thursday nights on the NBC network. Take a look at this. <laughs> the beautiful Rashida Jones, everybody. to see you. Do I sound like an old lady from Edinburgh when you talk to me? No. Uh, no. Good. Thank you. Just checking. <laughs> no, you don't. Okay, good. Oh, gosh, I like that. Thank you. That is weird. <laughs> that, it's like, it's like, ooh, it's like lingerie on your hand. L lingerie? Sure. Or jewelry? That's what I meant, yeah. <laughs> no, it kind of has a lingerie feel. It's kind of like, it you know. It's a little slinky. Yeah, mm -hmm. yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of a sexy thing. Provocative. Provocative, is it? But yeah, it is, yeah. kind of. Yeah. Draws the eye. Yeah. How have you been? I've been well. How have you been? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I was doing this thing at the start of the show, and Josh, who does the voice of the, you know, Jerry, he kind of says I do a weird voice. It's kind of annoying me. Oh, really? Oh, you're stuck on it now. Let's Why are you taking that tone with me? Why no, are you doing that? I'm trying to be sensitive. I no, want to no, work you're, right. it. you're not being sensitive. You're being a, you're being a little bit harsh. Okay. You're judgment judgmental is what you're being. I I think this has nothing to do with me. <laughs> I think if you looked inside, you'd know the answer. Are you in therapy? <laughs> now I am. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> are you in therapy, really? Yeah, I am. Yeah, me too. Yeah. How's it going? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. So you're mentally. Well? I'm mentally well today, and that's all that matters. Hey, good for you. Yeah. In every way, growing and more important. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for my song, by the way. I oh, yeah, we sing that song. Me and Jerry and uh, Jeff, we, uh, we sing the She's a Lady. With no lyrics. Well, None. that's only for legal reasons. And oh, anyway, right. it's, uh, it's only just for now. There'll be lyrics to it by Monday. <laughs> It, but it, it was it was in honor of the fact that I'm your favorite guest. Yes, right? absolutely, okay. absolutely okay. my favorite guest. Okay, thank today. You. Today, <laughs> right, right, moment by moment. Let's go. No, I mean that's the way things are. You've been on the show more times than anyone else. Is that true? Including me. <laughs> no, I think so. I think I think uh, Rashida the record holder. Yeah, or Wolfgang Puck. Oh. Well, he makes you know he comes and he brings food when he comes, so you know. Puck. Sacre bleu. Sorry, no, he's great. Did she say that? Great. She can't I'm just say jealous. that. It's a, what the it's a hell? pun. It's you a pun. You're a racist, man. God, do you believe that guy? <laughs> What's going on? Where have you been? Anywhere exciting? I was in. I was in Europe a lot this summer. I was in France. Really? Yeah. Parlez-vous oh, français? Oh oui, je parle français. Un peu. I went to French language school oui? in France this, mm -hmm. this past spring. That's really? What I was doing there, yeah. Immersion school. And you became fluent? I don't know about fluent. I mean, I couldn't say anything, and now I can say a little bit, so, you know. That's not fluent at fluent. all. Uh, no. that's, that's fluenter. Where was the school? It's in the south of France, in Villefranche. That must have been terribly hard for you to be in the <laughs> south of France. What the hell? I know, listen, it sounds really romantic. I pictured myself on a bike, like, you know, with a baguette in the front of the basket. Of, oh, yeah, right, you know yeah, I gotcha, yeah, 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 yeah. Whatever, get You know they have topless better. beaches down there as well? They do, yeah, yeah clothing yeah. optional. Did you go on the clothing optional? I didn't. Why not? I don't know. You some kind of prude? No, 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 I'm not. Because, you, you know, you'd be fine. Are you encouraging me to get naked on the beach? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I am. Right now? Look, if this is beachy enough for you, take them off. I'm good. Always. 
Always. I know, I know, I'm sorry. We should, we should maybe try to start some sort of game to figure out how long it takes us to get into sexual innuendo every time I'm on the show. Okay, <laughs> all right, let's do a game where okay. uh, we have to go, uh, let's go two minutes without any kind of sexual innuendo. Two minutes? Yeah, two, That's two as time. in two. That's a long time. Okay. 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 And begin. What's going on? Something sexy. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I failed. I failed. Jerry does not like that. No, I know. I know. <laughs> oh, no. Judge do, you, do you ride horses? Um, I don't. I don't. I have once before, but I have no idea. That I doesn't count as riding horses. The, the same way as not being able to speak fluent French is not actually fluent French. I, I'm not good at anything, it, it turns no, out. No, oh, au contraire. That's French for I disagree. <laughs> Uh, no, I don't ride horses. We should go on another trip. Oh, yeah, let's go yeah, on another like trip. Where should we go? Well, I don't know. I was thinking about Iceland, and I was thinking about Italy. Or I'm, anywhere else that begins with I. I'm, I like that. Ireland? Ireland, yes. Ireland, yes. Iceland, Great. Italy. Uh, any other countries that begin with I? India? India, let's go yeah, to well, India. Yeah, well, you can wear your thing totally. on your hand. Yeah, that's quite Indian looking. Yeah. And I can go, oh, hello. And people will... Be racist? That's not racist. That's out? not racist. People would like that. Would they? Some maybe, people might like it. <laughs> maybe, maybe Josh was right. What? Jo wait. About your voice. Like, what's going on with that? Really, I'm starting to sound like an old lady. I'm getting older, you know. I'm, you know, and I'm getting ladier, I guess. <laughs> so I'm talking like this all the time. I don't know what it is. <laughs> so then I talk German. <laughs> I can do German. Oh, this, yeah. is not, this is not German. Say, oh, yeah. Oh. Say, oh, yeah, it's oh. Swedish. Oh, right, right, right. It's like that, yeah? Yes. Yeah, so, so German is like more like craft work, you know? I can, I, can, I can count to 10 in German, and it makes me feel like I speak German. Because if you just say all the numbers, like in different orders, it sounds like you're speaking a language. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, sieben, acht, neun, zehn. And that's in order, but you get what I'm saying, right? <laughs> <laughs> that was actually the correct answer. <laughs> yes, I know, I know. Have you ever been to Germany? I have been to Germany. Really? Yeah. Have you been to Berlin? I've never been to Berlin. I want to go to Berlin. Let's go to Berlin. Okay, let's do We're that. Planning our let's trip. go to Berlin. Let's go to the Hansa Studios and record the the album that changes our careers. From you mean from not musicians to not musicians recording music? <laughs> What, what career is that? Kind of, in a way, <laughs> yeah. We could, I think we should team up with Florian Schneider, the founder, uh, one of the founder members of Kraftwerk. Okay. Right? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, great. And Let's we'll do, do electronic music. Oh, I love that. Let's do you do really? That. Yes. Okay, great. You start right now. <laughs> do this German beep thing with it. Burp, burp, no, 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 no. Not beep, oh, burp, oh, No, look. Do the thing with it. I'll do like a, no a Kraftwerk noise like okay. this. Okay. No, wait. Jeff, do something craft working. Yeah, all right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then do, and then count. Nine, 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 one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. You know, it needs a little work. Yeah, there. Come on, you guys. Yeah, no, we don't work. get an applause for that. No, no. No, wait, no. Now you can't. Now you can't. Now you can't. Take it back. Take it yeah, back. Take it back. No, we don't deserve that. We gotta take a break. Commercial break. All right. Uh, I'll be here. Think <laughs> that looks a bit like Babar the elephant. That my sub dad done. In in that trunk way, yeah, I guess. It so. does a little bit, doesn't mm -hmm. it? Now that's a French elephant right there. L'éléphant. L'éléphant. You probably knew that. I did. L'éléphant. I'm fluenter. <laughs> <laughs> We'll be right back with the Cedar Jones. Hey! Hey! Hey, what's up? Hey, what's going on? Hey! Whew. Hmm. We were just talking about, we were actually talking about things that were on, on subject. Yeah, parks and recreation a little bit. We yeah. talked about that. Yeah. yeah. yeah Are yeah, you yeah. leaving the show? I am. Um, I'm leaving oh. Connie. Oh. Oh. oh, shut up. You don't even watch it. <laughs> Does anybody watch it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Always do. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> I, there are two yeah. shows I watch on TV. Uh, I watch Parks and Recreation and that once uh, in a lifetime show with Jenny Goodwin in it. <laughs> that seems convenient for you. Why, because she was here last, last night? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, is that a co coincidence? What do you watch true? on TV then? I love Mad Men. Oh, yes. I've never seen it. it. It's really good. Yeah, I like John Hamm. Yeah, he's great. Oh, boy, he's, he's lovely. Show. He's been on this show a lot. He's very attractive. He's, I don't know if you've noticed. He's very attractive, yeah. He's attractive. Yeah, yeah. I've known him for a long time. I don't care so for him. <laughs> All right. Yeah. He, I changed my mind about halfway. more attractive? Okay, yeah, I like him again. Yeah, yeah all right. <laughs> what about uh, that? Did you watch the Breaking Bad? I don't. I missed the whole thing. I know really? now it's over. Well, then you can catch up. You can watch the whole thing. Did yeah, you watch no. The Wire? Yeah, well, The Wire. So you, you probably did that with The Wire, right? Caught up on it? Yeah, later. That's later. What I did too. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> We're out of time. Oh, we are. That's it. Yeah, I know. It went fast, didn't it? Yeah. I wish this converted into a pen. <gasps> oh, I was going to say, I thought it did. No, sadly, no. It's a real pipe. I quite like it like this. <laughs> it looks like. A, this. Now then it just looks like you're chewing a pen, oh. whereas it looks like I'm risking my eyebrows. <laughs> Is that an eyebrow risker? Yeah. You, you know, once when during punk rock, when I was 15, when punk rock just started, this is a true story, <laughs> I shaved off my eyebrows. <laughs> I thought it would look awesome. And? It doesn't look it awesome. It doesn't look no. awesome. It doesn't, it doesn't look, look awesome. awesome. I just looked surprised. Right. I was like, <laughs> all the time. People were like, what the hell, man? Are you okay? I was like, yeah, it's cool. I just don't have eyebrows. <laughs> They were like, you're crazy. I went, no, no, just no eyebrows. Right. Have you ever right. shaved your eyebrows off? Uh, no, but I did burn off like part of my eyelashes and eyebrows. On purpose? Not on purpose. I may have been like lighting something on a stove. Meth? No. No. Were you cooking meth no. and burn your eyebrow? I was like, you know, I was like 20 and I was like smoke, you know. Like, oh, yeah, I know what you mean. Going into the stove with a cigarette. Stupid. Uh, yeah, no, Very it's stupid. That, those dangerous. Dangerous times. Dangerous times. Everybody just get old. It's better for your health. What? Doesn't make any sense. For in the, in the short term, and then eventually. <laughs> you know what? I, I had a realization today that this is the oldest I have ever been, and this is the closest to death I will ever be until tomorrow. You are freaking. Oh. Out of me right now. <laughs> Rashida Jones, everybody. Remember? If you're watching Craig at home, you're missing half the fun. Consider this your formal invitation to laugh live in our studio audience at a taping of The Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. Please give us a call at 323-570-0059 or visit our website at LLSTickets.com. What was I doing there, Jeff? Playing your rusty trombone. Rusty trombone, no. Nah. <laughs> yeah. My next guest is a very funny comedian. He's a regular at the Comedy and Magic Club in Hermosa Beach, right here in the great state of California. Please welcome Brian McKim, everybody. Brian McKim. Twenty-five years ago, I decided to make my living by standing in front of a room full of strangers and making them laugh. For two years, I was a stripper. <laughs> From here, I go to Texas. I love to perform in Texas. I like to go to Texas for personal reasons as well. I get a chance to visit my son when I go to Texas. I got a three-year-old son in Texas. Not something like to talk about. Typical story. Down there performing a few years ago, I met a nice young lady after the show. We had a few drinks. Things got a little crazy. We adopted a little bugger. <laughs> but I don't drink anymore. At least not in Texas. <laughs> and not without an attorney at my side. But I'm a modern man. You're looking at a modern man. I do all the shopping. I do all the cooking. As for the housework, I whack that right down the middle 50-50. Of course, I live alone, so only half of it gets done. <laughs> Actually, I have a woman come in once a week to clean up. Actually, she comes in once every two weeks. Actually, I clean up, but I dress like a woman. <laughs> Actually, I'm uh, married. I have a wife. I have a spouse. She's a woman. She's a rescue.
I don't like that word, wife. It gives me the willies. So I, uh, I introduced her as my ex-girlfriend, pretty much the same thing. <laughs> Your married men might want to try that at home. Especially if you're tired of living at home. <laughs> my wife was complaining the other day. She says, why does your dirty underwear always end up on the floor? I said, gravity. <laughs> this is a good thing, believe me. You do not want to live in a world where my dirty underwear ends up on the ceiling. <laughs> she bought a pair of jeans the other day. She brought them home. She tried them on. She says, uh, do these jeans make my butt look big? I said, no. But they make everything else look small. <laughs> I should have stopped at no. If I have any marital advice, it's... Stop it, no. <laughs> My wife and I are members of the Mile High Club. I think you know what I'm talking about. That's right, we did it in the bathroom of a Greyhound bus parked in Denver. <laughs> this ever happened to you? Last week, somebody sent me a chainsaw in the mail. Now I gotta send chainsaws to 10 other people. <laughs> I had a uh, dinner at a restaurant last night. Halfway through the meal, I had occasion to use the men's room. Small sign next to the wash basin said, employees must wash hands. Well, I'll be damned if I'm gonna wait for some employee to come in and wash my hands. <laughs> I waited for a while. When no employee was forthcoming, I washed it myself. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Uh, uh, first job I ever had as a kid was shoveling snow. Shovel snow for money. Today's parents don't let their kids play in the snow, let alone work in the snow. Today's parents don't even let their kids out of the house. Today's parents are turning their children into indoor cats. <laughs> oh my God, Connor got out. <laughs> we had him declawed. <laughs> Thank you very much. My name is Brian McKim. Good night.